I'll hit everything. Uh, Gyarados is the one thing it does really bad against, but we have an answer to Gyarados, so... Uh, we could also trick Gyarados, but having Gyarados having... Uh, man, I think we just Ice Punch. They put in Rotom. That's, that's huge. Oh my, Rotom's gone. All right. Bye, Rotom. Lamps? What? Is that not super effective versus Rotom? What? No way. No way. What? All right. Metagross versus Rotom Grass. Or Rotom Mo, sorry. Choice Scarf, level 50. Meteor Mash or Ice Punch should KO. What? Is this an offensive orientated? What kind of Rotom is this? Did it did it heal with leftovers? Oh yes! Oh, yeah. huh. Alright guys, I'm back. We're gonna do another OU video. Of course, requested OU video. Before I get started, I just want to say thank you for everyone who subbed. I mean, it's freaking amazing. You guys are freaking amazing. I appreciate the support. Um, quick two shout outs. If you haven't joined my Discord, join my Discord. And you haven't come follow me on Twitch or hung out in live streams. I just ask that you do so. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let me pull up the comment here. Uh, this, this team is brought to you by Varun. Oh, I'm just going to murder this. Ga ga jo Joshan, ga Joshan. Please, I mean, I'm sorry, I can't read no like names no matter what. And this one's just asking for me to murder it. But Varuna said, "Could you use a team based on Dragon Dance Gyarados and Timid Togus for in the future?" Question mark. Thanks. Yes, let's do that right now. All right. So we got the two 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 comps that are are requested. And essentially what this Togekiss does, this Timid Togus is it's faster than a lot of things uh, and it wall breaks. It's not super bulky, so it can't take a lot of hits. So if there's a Tyranitar sitting across from you, you're going to want to switch. You don't want to take Stone Edge or Rock Slide. If there's a, a Mainazone or a Jolteon sitting across from you, they're definitely most likely faster than you Mainazone or, or Watch Rotom, you're going to want to switch. That's a, that's that's what it's gonna come down to is you're gonna want to switch if you're facing a Pokemon that counters this. Now what I'm running is a special attack EVs, speed EVs, and six HP EVs. IVs everything except for attack and and move set. I'm still running the air slash heal belt roost nasty plot because if people try to wall this with a you know Blissey or you know with something that can't do enough damage still you can get nasty plot set up and then you're, you're you're good you still break the wall so this is our wall breaker for the team essentially um mainly if you guys don't know air slash with serene grace has a 60 percent chance to make the full flinch it is brutal when you flinch a blissey seven times in a row and it dies and of course nasty plot is just gonna let us hit harder if we end up getting this in front of something that they don't want it in front of and we get a free nasty plot this thing is gonna do so much damage you guys have no idea oh it's gonna it's gonna hurt all right and so that's that's the timid uh toad kiss that i'm gonna run we're running once again special attack evs speed evs now the the this is the set for D dragon axe Gyarados currently in the meta that i would recommend mainly because it just has a crap ton of coverage and you get set up sometimes you just roll through a team and yeah or or if you're like me you get set up and then someone with a quick claw uh armaldo <laughs> uses rock blast and it activates and you one shot by Gyarados because you hit five times it's just some silly stuff like that happens or or you get toxic and then all their pokemon no protect on top of their other moves so they just protect as you take toxic damage and keep delaying out the toxic damage until you die uh that that also happens i don't know why but it always happens so jolly attack evs you can put the six wherever speed evs you definitely want to sweeper everything except for special attack move set you're going to be running waterfall dragon dance power whip ice fang so waterfall for anything that that 
that it does a crap ton of damage. It has 20% chance to flinch. That flinch happens so often, it's freaking amazing. Um, it literally can can win you the match if you flinch something. Like what you're gonna end up at one point in your career waterfalling a magnezone, and if you flinch it and do half or half of its damage, you're just like, well, I just won thanks to a nice flinch. Uh, <clears throat> Dragon Nets give us the speed and attack boost. Power Whip is for Melodics. Uh, Milotix. Sorry, I say that wrong all the time. Milotix and Wash Rotoms and Swamperts and Gastrodons, essentially. Because uh, if you're looking at, like, um, what am I thinking? If you're looking at a Hippodown in front of you, uh, you're not going to power whip it. You're going to waterfall it. If you're looking at Gliscor in front of you, you're probably going to Ice Fang Gliscor. I'm not going to lie. Ice Fang's probably going to hit harder. But Waterfall's not a bad choice either. Actually, it might be better so you're not rolling the dice with the accuracy. Now, we're running Ice Fang for dragons. There's a lot of bold Salamences around, a lot of Guard Chomps around. And Guard Chomps, you know, going to resist both Power Whip and Waterfall. Ice Fang's going to just completely destroy Guard Chomp, unless it has a Lichy Berry. So, and then leftovers for, because, I mean, I mean, this guy's bulky. This guy's bulky to start out with. And then you get a couple dragon nonsense. There's not too many things that take this out of one shot. So, <clears throat> unless it's a, you know, <clears throat> electric type move. All right. So, let's get on to our defensive core. Those are the two requested team members we have on this team. Um, the defensive core I'm going to run is going to be these two. I'm going to run uh, a physical wall and a... A, um, a, a blissey. All right. Oh, this is the wrong blissey. How did I grab the wrong Blissey? Hold on one sec. I I don't know how I grabbed the wrong Blissey. Blissies, where are you? Yeah, this is the Blissey I want. Because, like, that has no special attack investment. I plan on using special attack. All right, so let's... All right, let's go with our, our Gliscor. We're going to run Impish with a Rocky Helmet. EVs, a defense, HP, a little bit of an attack. IVs, everything except for special attack. And we're looking to run this as our defogger, because if you look at my team, I don't have a good defogger. And we're going to run Earthquake, Defog, U-Turn, and Roost. The reason why I'm not, like, you can run U-Turn or Taunt here, right? And I'm running U-Turn because we don't need Taunt for walls. Excuse me. We have a wall breaker. So why run U-turn, right? Or well, why not run U-turn for a little momentum? Uh, sand Veil, uh, we don't have a Sand Setter, but if we're against, you know, Extra Drill, Sand Veil's amazing. Hyper Cutter isn't really worth it. You're not here to do a massive amount of damage. Uh, if you're running like a Sword Dance Agility set, yeah, Hyper Cutter. But Sand Veil just gives you more evasion if you're versing a Sand Team, or they just happen to have a Tranitar, and it just gives you additional defensive stats because, yeah, this makes you miss a lot. All right. If we go over to Blissey, we're running Bolt, so increased defense, so it can actually take, take a defense hit. Defense EVs, I know people ask me all the time. Uh, Blissey's HP is a freaking amazing, and its special defense is freaking amazing, but its defense is lacking. If you can bolster that defense with some EVs and a bold nature, it can actually take a physical hit without getting one shot. So it's definitely worth it. It doesn't do well still. Like, you don't want to take a physical hit. Like, if you take a drain punch from Conk, you're dead. If you take a superpower from um, Caesar, you might live depending on its item. Like, but if you take a U-turn from Caesar and Softboil, predicting their U-turn, they don't get they don't get the momentum, and you actually take like maybe twenty percent damage. So that's why I run that. Everything except for special uh, attack for IVs. N now, um, hmm, this is supposed to have stealth rocks on it, so I'm gonna change that before we do the battle. Um. I looked at the other one that had stealth rocks, and I was like, "Oh, I got the right one." No, that's why uh, we're gonna we're gonna change teleport for stealth rocks. We're gonna run seismic toss, softball, ice beam. I, I've been adding some ice moves to all my Pokemon just because there's a lot of like this is great versus like you know if they swap in like a uh, a Garchomp versus this, ice beam destroys it. 
Um, I've been running a lot more ice beams. I've been seeing a lot more triple dragon teams, double dragon teams. So uh, I want more ice type uh, offensive moves if I can. Um, so we're gonna run our, our our rock setter is gonna be our blissey. We're gonna get rid of teleport and we're gonna run U turn instead on here. And I got disconnected from the game. I definitely was an AFK game. All right. So now we get onto this 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 uh, steel type steel type uh, regiment that I'm running. Um, both with choice items, right? So I was looking at it. These two get really walled by opposing main zones. So if I can trap a main zone and then just destroy it, <laughs> uh, that's what I want to do. Also, Ferrothones are uh, pretty good versus this team. Uh, I mean, if I put Flamethrower on Blissey, it'd be less less scary. But uh, yeah, if main or Ferrothones are really good versus this team. Uh, when you when you really look look at it, so this main zone's here to deal with other steel type walls, um, and other main zones, and like yeah, essentially that's what what we're doing. Now, let's look at it. It's a simple set that I always run. Timid, so we're faster than base one ten by like one point. So we're faster than a Gengars because we really don't have much speed unless we get a couple of dragon dances on this team. Um, we're looking at speed EVs, att special attack IVs, everything except for attack or. Everything except for these are EVs. Everything except for attack IVs. Uh, flash cannon, thunderbolt, volt switch, hidden power. Now, don't thunderbolt if they have a main zone themselves, because if they just swap, you get stuck. You always want to volt switch. Uh, but magnet pull, stop stopping uh, steel types from escaping, and then you just hit them with hidden power a couple times. Color good. Now, I was looking at this team. How does it fare versus? Um, versus rain and metagross is going to be our answer for kabutops blissey is going to be our answer for kingdra yeah i'm not too worried about it i, I think we'll be okay getting rid of their ferrothorn we could also just flinch hack it away so we have options we have options all right so now if you go over here we got ourselves some metagross in the wrong ball let's swap that now it's in the right ball running adamant uh, I'm running full bulky Metagross with Choice Ban. Um, it hits like a truck. It's good typing. It has good coverage. And we're running Choice Ban, right? Uh, you put a little bit in speed just to outspeed anything if you happen to run it. Well, actually, it doesn't even matter for speed ties. I I mean, it, it could. It gives you one point. Um, but now if we go to here, everything except for special attack uh, for IVs. Now, move set. I'm going to be running Zen Headbutt, Meteor Mash, Ice Punch for coverage, and Trick. So we have, like, I can't tell you how many times I've been tricked by a Metagross. When you see a Metagross standing, sitting across from you, you're like, it's it's not going to trick me. Like, like, you don't think Metagross trick, and this gets me all the time. Now I'm hyper aware of it because it happens to me all the time, but most people don't think about it. So we got the Trick. A little bit of utility in order to get this choice item off if we need to. Ice Punch is going to one-shot Garchomp unless it's running Leche or Focus Ash. Uh, it does not one-shot us with Earthquake in return, even with Life Orb. It might with Choice Ban. haven't did that calc yet. And yeah, this is just going to be a good lead. Another good lead. Um, heck, this is actually not a bad lead either. So, let's get Stealth Rock onto Blissey and get into some matches. Uh, that's not where I want to go. Let's just cheat and go Stealth Rock here. Please, someone be selling some. I mean, you pay a little bit more this way, but like... I sh st Let's see, Stealth Rock should be uh, PP Max too, but you don't have to. I'm not going to do it right now. And plus, I end up... Uh, I end up changing moves all the time for these videos. I mean, you could run Stealth Rock on three Pokemon here. We're going to do it on... Let's see. I do like Teleport Blissey, though. It's really, really strong. All right, let's get into a match. I'm actually going to run these matches on my main uh, because I don't care about my OU rating now. I've been just focusing on doubles. So let's see how we do. <laughs> let's see what we're up against. Um, I mean, we are running two Steel types, so they have a Fire type. I mean, usually fire Darmatan might be an issue if it predicts like a rock slide. Uh, I don't know. We have, we have, we have things for it. 
All right. Ooh, a bomb of snow wind. It, all right. In overused. Let's go. Um, so their team's pretty hyper offensive. Uh, so Rotom and Trinitar really uh, stop our our uh, our Togekiss. Not to mention, Bomb Snow <laughs> hits it pretty hard, uh, and and everything's faster than it except for the two walls that counter it, and then uh, Conk can just Conk's Conk, right? So let's start off with Metagross. If they lead with Infernape, we're just gonna Zen Headbutt. Actually, no, we're gonna swap. This Infernape might be mixed. Oh, please don't lead Infernape. If it leads Infernape, then I'm a little scared. If they lead, if they lead Rotom. I I will be very tempted to just I'd be very tempted to just trick all right so they lead Infernape if they're leading Infernape did they predict my Metagross lead and what are they running <laughs> there's so many questions here all right so let's go Metagross let's pull up an Infernape we got plenty of time right uh okay let's see if it's if it's mixed attack I'm pretty sure I died to overheat like a hundred percent die to overheat <laughs> yeah yeah overheat does way too much damage it's definitely faster than us right but if it's if it's not a mixed attacker let's say it's just a hundred 252 252 jolly uh and it use it with with uh and it uses what do you call it close combat doesn't do enough but if it has flare blitz that's what i'm looking for Flare Blitz, is that enough to one hit KO? Yeah. All right, so our best swap here has got to be into Gyarados because if he uses a Fizzle type move, will I have Thunder Punch? I think, I guess we don't know what it is. If it's mixed, it puts so much pressure on us. All right, so we got the Intimidate down. It's, it's Stealth Rocked. I just want to switch to Defog because I think this is a sacrifice lead. Now, if it has Stealth Rock, it's sacrifice lead. I'm switching here. We're gonna. It probably has Taunt. We'll find out if it has Taunt. But Earthquake, Earthquake. Uh, we take no damage from this, right? We have Roost. There's the Taunt. All right, all right. So, so now we know they're gonna they're gonna swap. Uh, cause like I would swap at this point, right? They have no ground type to swap. Um, but what they're going to be running is a focus ash endeavor and priority move taunt. I think it's what they're going to be running. So let's just go back to Metagross expecting them to swap into something else like Gengar or Tyranitar. Like they're not going to swap into, they're going to swap into Rotom because I'm now, yeah, actually we just U-turn. Yeah, I taunted again. All right. So now at this point, we just Volt Switch here. Actually, we just Thunderbolt here. They're, they're, they're just going to keep predicting swaps. I don't want to put in Gyarados because it takes too much damage from entering. And we just Thunderbolt here. We don't even Volt Switch. And they might swap and try to keep this. Let's just Volt Switch. All right, Thunderbolt would have killed, I think. Volt Switch, I don't know if it kills. We're getting into that really, what do we want Endeavor to, who do we want to give away Endeavor damage to? Let's just go this route. Because Toe Kiss right now is, eh, meh. Oh, it Overheat. All right, that pretty much kills Toe Kiss. But now we can, uh, now we can, now we can, uh, if we Dragon Dance here, they swap to Rotom, we have a Power Whip that hits, we kill Rotom, most li likely. We can also just Power Whip from the get-go. If it endeavors, then it'd be interesting. I think we just Dragon Dance here. Oh! I should have just Waterfalled. I completely forgot they're going to sit there and taunt us. I forgot about that line of play. It's okay. At this point, we just uh, we just power whip, predicting a swap. 
Nope. It's gonna endeavor us. Alright. GG in the opponent. Oh, a crit. Alright. Uh, the opponent got a lot of... A lot of, uh... Real estate with me screwing around there. Like, like they got Togekiss. Like a Togekiss for free. They got rocks down. And... I'm sitting here with a 46 HP uh, Gyarados that doesn't have, that is taunted. That was really good for the opponent. Uh, <laughs> really well played. All right, so Gengar, we have Ice Beam, so we can just straight up swap. The one thing it could do is just, uh, yeah, it could just uh, trick us with a uh, Black Sludge. That'd be really bad, but at this point, we got to swap. If it, if it thunderbolts, it subs. It's gonna try to sub Nasty Plot, but we have Ice Beam. So, at this point, we just have to Ice Beam. Holy crap, I'm not even an Ace Trainer. Ha! I didn't even notice that. Uh, we just Ice Beam here. They're gonna Nasty Plot to see... They need, like, two Nasty Plots just to kill us. Um, and we have a Magnezone that's Scarf that will... We'll be able to KO Gengar if we get Gengar down. So now Gengar has an a, an option to just switch because we we are ice beaming, or hit us with a focus blast. All right, so there comes the focus blast. He hits the first focus blast. It's super effective. It does half of our health. We get the ice beam off. Now he has to hit a back to back focus blasts in order to do this. Um, so. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stealth rock. He hits back to back focus blasts. Oh, the pain. Yeah, we are getting all right. Butts destroyed. All right, so we bring in this. We don't have any priority moves. Keep that in mind. So if this thunderbolt doesn't kill Gengar, I lose, like hands down. If Gengar wants, if they swap. Yeah, they definitely swap. A bomb is no. All right. So the great thing about a bomb is no, unless it's running, unless it's running, um, hidden power fire. Metagross is like a, a perfect counter. Um, meteor mash hits everything except for Rotom really bad. Yeah, and there's the hidden power fire. What a, this person has the answers to our team. Oh, does they do they have the answers to our team? If we meteor mash here, they just swap the wa wash rotom, and I think we just trick here. I, I I have to pull off something, and the fact that <laughs> they're running hidden power bomb fire bomb snow in doubles, and I have a metagross swapped into it. Uh, I think this is over. I think our opponent has thoroughly destroyed me. Now, they're trying to think of, like, what do I do here? Do I just hit him with another Hidden Power of Fire? They have Protect on their Obama Snow. Is this a doubles Obama Snow that they just ran into, into here? So now my trick doesn't hit. They just kill. They just kill me. Like, I'm not complaining. This opponent played really well. But everything has gone right for them so far. Except for... This, is their Tyranitar a... Um, is their Tyranitar a... Uh, ooh, I got a Choice Scarf. Versus their team, I guess that's okay. We just Meteor Mash here, though. Then they're going to swap into Rotom. Um... Ice Punch doesn't do anything. Meteor Mash at least will do something. We could just double trick, but I don't think they're going to predict that. They had a Scarf Tranitar on the team. Looking at their team, that's not bad. In comes Wash Rotom. <laughs> I even missed the... Ah... <laughs> uh... Like I said, you, you always play these out the way I look at it. Um, all right. So it's probably just going to Hydro Pump here. 
I don't see how we win this, especially with uh, Conk coming in. Full HP, but we definitely need to get rocks taken care of. Uh, it had leftovers, so we just mm, we just medium medium mash here. It's expecting a per yeah, expecting another swap because they're expecting us to swap, right? So hey, we got a bomb of snow for free. Woo! <laughs> Not that it was a huge threat, but having the ice type threat. Now they're going to put in Rotom. They're going to Hydro Pump here. I can almost guarantee you that. Let's just go... Volt Switch. We'll eat a Hydro Pump. Oh, they Volt Switched. What? Maybe they don't have Hydro Pump. Uh, they're going to put in... Um, Conk here. If Conk has Ice Punch, I just lose. But... Yeah, Conk would be the best one. Mock Punch kills us. The question is, I mean, if I were them, they're doing really well, right? They have four Pokemon. I have four Pokemon, but I'm in a bad position. Um, they want this gone so they can sweep with Gengar. So, yeah, we just switch here. If they do Mock Punch. If they do a Mock Punch, they have... Like I said... Everything that this opponent has done so far has been perfect. Holy crap. It has Ice Punch Conk. It had Hidden Power Fire. Like, everything has been perfect coverage-wise. Like, Ice Punch Conk does horrible against Melodics, uh, Milotics, or hor like horrible against uh, Skarmory's, but it has Ice Punch. Now, the question is, what do we do here? Mock Punch probably kills us. Mock Punch kills us. And we just put this in. They have 100% HP. So we just Zen Headbutt. If they swap, swap the Tranitar, it's over. But we just Zen Headbutt here. They're going to swap. There's there's no doubt about it. But if they swap Rotom, I'm okay with that. They swap it to Tranitar, everything's gone perfect. Oh, I'm getting my butt handed to me. It's Ratatar! Every time! <laughs> Alright, that's that's uh that's a that's a good old forfeit from me. I don't have anything to even stop this Tyranitar now. I mean we go this route. That's a good old big forfeit. This opponent has literally played perfectly versus me. Like I I I I definitely made one mistake on taunt, right? I, I got taunted. There's the pursuit kills yep i mean i i could i could hit it it's literally trapped uh it has pursuit on it still kills me because i take rock damage yeah it's over i forfeit let's start a new game let's see how it goes this is the first game ever with this too their team's really well built not gonna lie and they destroyed me gameplay wise that's that's that that was wow wow see i lost my tokus to an overheat which i thought was coming that what they they were running stealth rock overheat endeavor and we didn't know our uh, taunt stealth rock overheat endeavor i was expecting endeavor this is a trick room team this is an interesting over Overused team. All right, so we have Tyranitar. Tyranitar is going to be an issue when it comes to Tokius. That's it. Uh, their lead is probably going to be Sigilglyph, which hits pretty hard. Um, has Heat Wave. They have one good wall for Gyarados. They don't have a ground. Oh, they do have a ground type. They have Nidal Queen, so they could lead with Nidal Queen. Um, we could lead with Metagross. We could lead with Gyarados to try to get a free... Eh, Gyarados would be, bad, would be a bad idea. We could lead with, uh... If they lead with Nidoqueen. I don't know what they're going to run on Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen probably has Ice Beam. Um, hmm. Let's just... Let's lead with... Alright, so they led with Tyranitar. 
If Chronotar pursuits me, we take a lot of damage here, but we gotta do it. We gotta just straight up swip, swap here. If it ice beams, I just got I just got got. Uh, looking at their team, I don't know if they run Stone Edge. All right, so that's good. Um, we can U-turn here into uh, Metacross. Uh, Stone Edge won't do much. We could also Earthquake, but if we Earthquake and they swap to Sigil or Skarmory, it's bad. Uh, same for if they swap to Slowbro. So U-turn here is the best. They kept it in, so maybe they have Ice Beam. Maybe this is a mix set. So if they do use Ice Beam, Metagross is, you know, probably the best. Um, one thing we can look at too is they use Stone Edge again. It's not very effective. Our, uh, what is our speed at 50? Our 91 speed here. We were faster with our Impish. Uh, okay. So there's still a chance that it's, it's definitely going to be faster. Um, we could trick here and we would get a swap into like slow bro or not. I'm just going to meteor mash, play it safe see what they do they go into skarmory so next time we know they're gonna go into skarmory and holy crap we actually took quite a bit of damage from um from that uh stone edge even though it wasn't very effective uh we're gonna actually swap right into our our trapper here they can put rocks down if they want they uh, they swapped right away i'm okay with that um our, our good swap for this is just going to right here. We're going to double swap back into main and zone. Are they going to rocks? I don't know what this Nidoqueen's Queen's doing. Yeah, it's stealth rocked. All right. I don't know if it has ice beam or thunderbolt, but let's just double swap here. We'll get rid of the rocks with defog. They're going to put in Skarmory. I'm, I can almost get it. Oh, they have toxic. All right, boy. If they have ice beam, I'm really, I'm I'm in in bad shape here. Ah, uh, let's just go. Let's swap. I can't. They went toxic versus Gyarados. Gyarados's waterfall would have hit hard, but toxic having I can understand having toxic on it's really good. All right, we can get our own rocks down now, and they can defog. I don't care. That's what we'll do. All right, we go stealth rocks. If they taunt us. They go Tyranitar again. I mean, their Stealth Rocks from Tyranitar's, or their, their Stone Edge from Tyranitar hit our Metagross really hard, right? So let's go this route. Oh, they Pursuited. That hit like crazy. And I wish I went Metagross this time. All right, when we put in this, they put in Nidal Queen versus it. Um, they probably won't do that again. We just U-turn here. They could pursue us. They put in Nidal Queen. I don't know what to do here. We could rocks really hurts our team, so getting rid of rocks would be a really good idea. I think Metagross is the way to go here, though this thing might be faster than us. If it Earth powers, we die. Um, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to Zen headbutt it. I want to Zen headbutt it. We could also Ice Punch, or we could Trick. Last time we did this, they um swapped to Skarmory. If we get Skarmory tricked, it's really good. Let's trick. Oh, slow bro. All right, we got the Eviolite off the slow bro. That's pretty good. Oh, it had leftovers? That's even better. It's useful. Now we have a leftovers bulky Metagross. Let's go. All right. Um, it kind of walls us, right? Let's, let's go to our... Uh, We take a Scald hit. I'm surprised it's not using like Psy Shock. We can Flash Cannon here and take another Scald hit if they outplay us. GG on them. Or they're going to swap into Nidoqueen. Queen. Actually, I think we just Thunderbolt that they swap into Nidoqueen. Queen. We start playing the swap game again. Um, we could also just double, you know, it's running Scald. 
We could try to heal up on Blissey. Let's just Thunderbolt. Yeah. Now we know they're always going to swap in. Um, Let's go this route now. I don't know what other moves it has. It has Toxic and Stealth Rock. If it Toxics us, I don't care. Which, uh, running Toxic, it has Earthquake. All right, cool. If it, if it, if it's running, if it run, it run Toxic into my team, then it only hits two Pokemon, right? Uh, we're just going to Heal Bell here. We could Air Slash the Tranitar coming in, but totally not worth it. <laughs> like, like. The Tyranitar getting getting a heal belt is horrible. All right, so at this point, it can pursue us, do some damage again. Um, I have a feeling it's choice band. If it pursuits, uh, we st we still have Skarmory, so let's go. Let's see if we. All right, we take a Stone Edge here, then we can heal. Pretty sure Stone Edge doesn't kill us. It hits. If it crits, maybe it kills us. Never mind. It kills us. How much damage does crit do to Gliscor? We know they're running that now. So we can do this. Trying to try choice ban. Level 50. Stone Edge does, I guess it does do 58% at max roll. Um, so if we go Meteor Mash, we'll hit the Skarmory. We could Ice Punch. It does a little more damage versus Skarmory. They put in slow, bro. Alright. They don't want to lose their Skarmory, I guess. We get the little recovery there. Um, what we need to do is just whittle down this. God dang. All right, we're gonna swap here. I'm making bad decisions today. Uh, we're swapping here with the hopes that Skull does no damage and they put in Tyranitar. <laughs> they do a double switch into Tyranitar. Tyranitar uh, is turning out to be more of an issue than I want it to be. But luckily, we're getting rocks damage every time. Um, let's just seismic toss it. It's going to crunch. So it didn't even pursuit. It should have just pursued. All right. So if it's running crunch, we can get a free. I'm pretty sure it's choice ban based on its damage. Hmm. We haven't even seen their Blissey. I mean, I can break Blissey with this. If it's running crunch, we're faster than it. Sally probably dies to it though. Um, we could get a dragon dance off through the crunch, and then they're not gonna let this die. Skarmory has Rocky Helmet, but if we get a flinch, we could sweep. Power Whip kills that. You know, Queen Mike. Let's do it. I'm at at this point. We got to get some we got to get some ground and Tyranitars are Are actually being a huge threat right now. So we dragon dance here. They're gonna swap almost guaranteed They're they're not gonna swap. They're just gonna crunch me All right, I suppose they do a lot of damage <laughs> They do a lot of damage if they crit too like what do I do here? This 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 Tyranitar is wrecking my face. They just swap here, by the way. Oh no, they hit us. Oh wow, they they let us take out Tyranitar now. I could win this now with Tyranitar gone. Cool. Uh, we still have a chance. We still have a chance. Why did they let? <laughs> 
All right. Uh, we just medium mash here. We're definitely faster. We do a little bit of damage, right? It's not very effective. Oh! We get a free swap here. I'm just gonna keep Meteor Mashing. Because if they put in Skarmory, then I put in Togekiss. <laughs> Alright, cool. We take a little bit of uh, a rock damage. Ooh, a crit! Woo! We got a crit when it didn't matter. Oh, we got the attack raise. Alright. We could just ice punch it. Because I think it's neutral. Right? Let's ice punch it. And we die. And then we see what they do. Oh, it doesn't die. Is it gonna is it gonna roost? I I, I just don't want oh a whirlwind. Awesome. So now we have to air slash this, right? But we get we get a free recovery. And they could swap, but we just air slash. Not very effective. We get a free heal. How fast is Sigil Glyph? I mean, we don't see Sigil Glyphs very often. So base stats 97. So Sigil Glyph is gonna be faster. Ooh, they're going Blissey though. All right. Uh, let's nasty plot and then roost if they ice beam I guess cool they have ice beam I mean look at their team ice beam wouldn't be a bad yeah there's the ice beam don't freeze me all right well when we roost we get rid of the super effective portion of that I'm guessing we could win this with Togekiss the Sigil Glyph comes in, we can kill Sigil Glyph. We kill everything except for Blissey and... and they're just, they're, I think they're just rolling for a freeze here. Alright. Uh, I don't want to roll for a freeze either. So I'm going to Air Slash and see how much damage it does. Because they could swap here, thinking we're going to Nasty Plot again. And if they swap into Sigil Glyph... Alright, we don't do enough damage. But we do enough damage probably for the rest of them. So I'm going to still air slash again. I want to play around them getting a free swap when I nasty plot, right? And I want them to use soft boil instead of ice beam. All right, let's nasty plot here. They're probably going to swap because they're outplaying me. Nope. All right. We're good. We're good. All right. So we get it up again. There's the soft oil. Perfect. That's exactly what I want this to go. Because we've been healing the whole time as well. Now we got plus four. And now they can't swap. I'm just going to air slash the rest of the time. And if they get an ice beam off, they get an ice beam on. If I miss an air slash, I miss an air slash. There's another flinch. Now we're at full health. Full health versus Sigil Glyph with a plus four, we win. We take some damage, but we still win, right? And we're faster than these two. So now we just pray for some flinches. I think we need one more flinch. Maybe maybe one more flinch after that with the recovery. I don't think I KO yet. Air slash again. We didn't miss. It's enough to KO. Knock it out. All right. So now they can put in Sigil Glyph and try to hit us really hard one time. Oh, they're going to put in Nidoqueen. Queen. All right. Do they have Ice Beam on Nidoqueen Queen too? We just air slash here. We're definitely faster. And we're plus four. Oh, they got the toxic off. All right. Um, see, see, the problem with the toxic is they could swap to slow bro and just continue to uh, to heal. But then I could just, yeah, I just air slash again. I don't care about the toxic at this point. Because Sigil Glyph will come in. Oh, yeah. This is how stupid, uh, by the way, Togekiss is. All right, Sigil Glyph comes in and hits us. I think we one-shot Sigil Glyph. Not going to take any damage from... Because of Magic Guard. Um, so, let's say it's offensive. It's level 50. Air Slash at plus 4. Oh, uh, my Togekiss at plus 4. 
Uh, Psyshock does like 50% damage to us, according to, even if it's Life Orb. Uh, special Attack plus four. The only thing that I lose here is if I miss. But I have Thunderbolt for both of these. So we're in a really good position. And we're faster. What is this? What, what Central Glyph is this? The Central Glyph is, uh, what, a, uh, a wall or something? What the heck? Typically, they run, what, timid, right? Maybe it was more of a defensive wall? Now it's over. Um, just to make sure it doesn't... I'm just gonna heal bell for posterity. There's the forfeit. Woo! <laughs> that was, uh, that was closer than I wanted it to be and definitely made some some errors uh i didn't think stone edge from tyranitar just been tyranitar would do more than 50 percent damage um and uh, i'm pretty sure we'd be faster than it afterwards so we could roost and then we would take reduced damage from the stone edge um the crunch crit on gyarados was painful uh but let's look uh tyranitar Choice ban, level 50. <laughs> Crunch did 96% damage anyways. Even, like, we got the Intimidate off, right? It, it would have killed us anyways. Uh, no, it would have brought us down to, like, 20% HP. And then we would have been able to kill it. And we needed that out of the way. We just needed that Tyranitar out of the way. So, if I could add something into this team would be a fighting type... <laughs> Fighting type maybe over Metagross. Though Metagross does really good against Tranitar. So it's just getting the Tranitar out of the way. We're going to run one more match. Three matches. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh. All right. I'll, I'll fast forward to this. All right. Third match. Let's see if we can go above 50% win rate. Let's see how this goes. The last team was very interesting. Oh my god. We are three for three on Tranatar walling this Togekiss. Oh. And Gyarados, though. Looking at their team, Gyarados has Yeah. Their team's pretty good. I like it. We're gonna we're gonna lead. Boy, if they lead with Garchomp, this will be perfect. If they lead with Starmie, this will be perfect. If they lead with anything besides Gyarados. Trying to so if they lead with half their team, I'm gonna lead with because because if they look at my team, they probably see like a Metagross or this lead. Star me would be really good against Metagross. Yeah, let's confirm this. All right, cool, awesome. We're against awesome guys. I think I think it's supposed to be awesome. Yeah, it's just. Swapped. Uh, we're going to just Stealth Rock right off the bat. They can Volt Switch into Caesar or Tronitar, but we get Stealth Rocks down. This is their Defogger, hands down. They could trick us also into Stealth Rock. No, they're going to go for the Volt Switch, maybe expecting us to teleport. But we get Stealth Rocks down. We might get Pursuit Trapped, but... Uh... Oh no, they put in Guard Chomp. They're going to put Stealth Rocks down too, but we're going to Ice Beam their Guard Chomp. Now, if this Garchomp is Life Orb, physical orientated, we're going to take a crap ton of damage here. But uh, Ice Beam's also going to return the damage. <laughs> they do have a um, a Starmie for getting rid of rocks, I suppose, now that I look at it. All right. So is there a physical type move coming in here, or is, there, is this a special type? If a Drake goes us, well, this is definitely Scarfed. Well, we'll find out. I think uh, Seismic Talus here would be better into if they swap. It kills and yeah. All right, they swapped into Caesar. What if I flamethrowered, sir? You just saw me ice beam you. All right. So their best move is Pursuit here. It's gonna do a bunch of damage to us, but then we get, nope, they're gonna U-turn. So they're gonna take, oh man. All right, all right. They, they definitely have a fast speed tier when it comes to everything. Uh, we take limited damage. They take Rocky Helmet damage. Their Caesar is now down to 50% just with that interaction. They put in Starmie. They're probably going to rapid spin. 
I don't know what they're gonna do with this Starmie. But if they rapid spin, I put in this, I just stealth rock, they put in Caesar again. That we do that whole interaction again. If it ice beams me, yeah, there's the rapid spin. Cool. I'm perfectly fine with that. I could have you turned out of that. But if they get rid of my Glyce Glyscore, it's kind of bad for me with uh with everything they got. So we just seismic toss. They swap or they side shock us. They're gonna swap into Caesar again. <laughs> Uh, they're probably going to pursue me this time. I can almost guarantee you they're pursuing me. So, let's... How much damage do I take from a pursuit? That's level 100. I was like, holy crap, I die. Pursuit only does 32% damage. U-turn versus my Blissey does... Wow, this is... U-turn only does 56%. I just, I literally just soft boil here. If they, yeah. <laughs> I just soft boil here. Because that now they could put in like Tyranitar or something, right? But I take, they take rock, extra rock damage here. And I could also just straight up ice beam whatever comes in. Uh, there's the Tyranitar. Cool, 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 cool. Now, Tyranitar does a lot with Pursuit, regardless, because it's Stab. Uh, we're going to swap into... Um, we don't have a good swap for Tyranitar. <laughs> if this, if there's one weakness for this team, we've discovered it's Tyranitar. But we're going to swap into our Metagross. And they don't have a good defense versus... It. If we Zen Headbutt... What do they do here? They Stone Edged, and they missed. That's awesome. That's really good for us. All right, if we Meteor Mash, uh, it does a decent amount of damage, except for Gyarados. Um, if we Zen Headbutt here, and they call us out on the Zen Head. Zen Headbutt does way more damage to everything, but we could also just Ice Punch. It's neutral, and it will hit everything. Uh, if they go like, yeah, it'll hit everything. Uh, Gyarados is the one thing it does really bad against, but we have an answer to Gyarados, so... Uh, we could also trick Gyarados, but having Gyarados having, uh, man, I think we just Ice Punch. They put in Rotom. That's, that's huge. Oh my, Rotom's gone. All right. Bye, Rotom. Lamps? What? Is that not super effective versus Rotom? What? No way. No way. What? All right. Metagross versus Rotom Grass. Or Rotom Mo, sorry. Choice Scarf, level 50. Medium Mash or Ice Punch should KO. What? Is this an offensive orientated? What kind of Rotom is this? Did it, did it heal with leftovers? Dude, it should have died. This is a, like a bold. Is this a bold? Mobrotum? So it's not super fast. I think we just swap here instead of taking the damage. I think we just swap here. Yeah. I mean, we could kill it. It's probably going to defog. Oh, will o -Wisp. It is a defensive. That was a good swap then. I I didn't even think of Will-O-Wisp line wise. It is a defensive Rotom. It's gonna try to uh, power split us, um, but our Ice Beam's gonna do enough damage to it anyways. Yeah, it's definitely power splitting here. Um, I didn't think it'd stay in. I thought I was gonna Volt Switch out. It's gonna it's gonna power. Or not a power uh, pain split us. That's what I meant. We're just gonna ice. Oh, it, it volt switched out into what? Gyarados? I should have just seismic tossed. I thought it was gonna pain split Caesar again. All right, Caesar's gonna run. Like, there's no way the Caesar. There's no way the Caesar stays in. And uh, and and runs for suit because last time I, I I called it. Um. Yeah, we just go Karen. If it if it superpowers, it dies, right? If it 
U turns, it's dead. Unless they get rid of. <laughs> yeah, we can take the damage here. Yeah, it, it, they have to put in Starmie here. They have to get rid of this. I'm going to U turn here. If it ice beams me or does anything, then I get a free swap to to Gyarados or Metagross mm. or Blissey again to just heal or put rocks down again. Yeah, that's U turn. Yeah, there's the rapid spin. Cool. So it, it does some damage to us, right? It takes some damage. It gets speed. The U turn's actually super effective. We get a free swap and damage, and now we put in more rocks. That's that's huge. That's 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 annoying. Um, this is the only threat that we have to deal with with Blissey, so we don't need to heal. We just stealth rocks here, and they can like psy shock us here. It has leftovers though, so yeah, Caesar comes in. Now, Pursuit is its only useful move here. So I'm going, like, if it's superpowers and I lose Blissey, that's pretty bad, right? Let's just switch to here. If it pursues us, it, it, it doesn't, it's not going to pursue us. They're just losing their Caesar for no reason then. I don't think this kills, does it? No, we're still alive. We got rid of Caesar for basically Karen and pretty much damage Starmie. Now we just U-turn here. We don't even roost. They have to kill us. If they don't kill us, it's bad. Oh, they rapid spin. I suppose that does kill us. They take the Rocky Helmet damage. I mean, that works. It gets a little... Now they have to start bringing in Tranatar versus our, uh... Our Blissey. Now we Stealth Rocks again. <laughs> they could attack us. I didn't think that Rapid Spin did damage. Six points of HP damage. Oh, I'm so bad. Like, no matter what, it kills us there. So that's actually pretty good. There's the Tyranitar. We get rocks down. This is at 12.6% HP, so rocks aren't going to take it out. But rocks plus... Rocks plus Sandstorm will. I'm just going to Ice Beam here. And not swap. Yeah, there's the Pursuit. I think this kills us anyways. <gasps> it doesn't kill us. Oh, dude. We should have just, I should have just healed. I'm pretty sure, I thought Pursuit killed us. We might still survive this, so I'm going to just soft boil. I doubt we survived that. All right, so it's stuck into Pursuit. We're pretty sure that it's locked. Um, they have low HP here. They have their own Gyarados. Um, it's Gyarados time. Let's just, uh, let's go Gyarados and start. Starmie, I mean, Starmie itself right now, when it comes in, dies if they swap, regardless. So they have to wait till Sand is done. Um, plus one speed makes us faster than Starmie. This pursuit's going to do no damage to us. Uh, we're going to be facing a Gyarados. That's going to be their best, like, swap is Gyarados. Oh, they swapped in Starmie. Why would you do that? Oh, Starmie's dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it doesn't recover. Regardless, we're faster. Yeah, Starmie's dead. I mean, I guess they they that was a good call so that they didn't get power whipped first when they swapped in their own Gyarados. I guess that was the smart play. So now we're faster and we just power whip, right? Or do we just swap? We could dragon dance and take a power whip, but if we miss our power whip after that dragon dance, it's bad. I think we just dragon dance. 
Like, if we miss a Power Whip, it's bad regardless. So might as well uh, take a Power Whip, have them maybe miss a Power Whip. They didn't miss a Power Whip. So now we're we're hitting the same amount they are. But we're f oh no, we're plus one attack. They're All right, now we Power Whip. If we miss this, it's bad, but... Ah, uh, we hit it. Oh, it lives, and he hits two consecutive Power Whips. That's actually really hard to do. But now they have no way of getting rid of, uh, yeah, wow. They have no way of getting rid of, uh, let's see. I have a question. No, no, it's better to just go this, this route right here. All right. Main is zone. Versus Gyarados. Uh... Offensive Dragon Dance, level 50. How much damage do I do with Flash Cannon? 20%. All right, we just Flash Cannon here. If they swap, I mean, Flash Cannon does really good against everything here. This is pretty much dead to Flash Cannon 2, I believe. Flash Cannon does 24% damage to it. So we just Flash Cannon here. And Flash Cannon takes out Garchomp as well. And does enough damage to their Tronitar. That Tronitar isn't a threat. <laughs> They're just going to let me take out all their Pokemon with Flash Cannon. All right. I mean, if this was Scarfed, I'd be a little more worried. But we saw it use Stealth Rocks. All right. And now we put in... They're trying to tower, which is their biggest threat, and it's the last Pokemon. Um, and this is super effective. We're faster. There's the forfeit. We went two for three. Woo! My heart hurts. Uh, let's think about that last match. Uh, Play-wise, getting mi that missed Stone Edge was nice, but uh, we whittled down their Caesar. And it didn't use one pursuit. We were still worried about the pursuit, but it didn't use a single pursuit in that whole whittle down process. It just kept using U-turn. You can also see what I'm talking about, about running defensive EVs on Blissey. That U-turn did like no damage. We were able to heal it completely up. And yeah, they had no, they had to put in Trinitar for it, right? Um, Trinitar is a huge weakness to this team and apparently is very proliferant in OU because every team we faced today had Trinitar in it. To fix that, I think getting rid of Gyarados or getting rid of, you know, to be honest, getting rid of Togekiss might be the option or running instead of this set, maybe running, uh, Roost Aurasphere Air Slash because you this is going to be faster than other, unless it's scarfed Trinitars. So that might be a good change for the team because the heal ball came in okay, but we used it once. It really didn't do anything. This thing doesn't take as enough hits to utilize heal bell as much because it's not as bulky. It's more or less just trying to survive one hit, maybe roost and then get some flinches kind of a deal. U-turn was amazing. We were able to use U-turn onto Starmie. Starmie could have killed us with like a Scald half the time there. Uh, the problem is this still takes a lot of damage from U-turn from uh, Caesar. And Ice Punch Conk just one-shots it. Like, if they're running Ice Punch, you're just screwed versus Conk. That's why I was running also Meta Metagross. But Metagross, you know, versus Conk isn't the greatest either. Especially all they have to do is just swap to avoid the Zen Headbutt. Um, the trick worked out pretty well. We tricked a uh, Slowbro and it worked out in our favor. Slowbro could have walled the Togekiss pretty good. I doubt it, but it could have tried to wall it. It could have made it much more difficult to finish that match. The Ice Punch did amazing, though it didn't one-shot the bold Rotomo. I don't think I've ever seen a bold Rotomo before, like in OE right now. That, I thought for sure it was dead, but it didn't matter. It got, it, the Ice Punch got us into, uh into the right position. Um, if you guys see any any mistakes that we've done, any, any things we can change to this team, anything at all, drop it in the comments. Also, 
we're aiming for a thousand subscribers we're at like 860 some you guys are freaking amazing if you haven't subscribed but you watch my content all the time uh just hit that uh, hit that little button I, pr I appreciate it if you do if you don't it's your choice i'm not gonna force you i'm not gonna track you down but i just asked politely all right guys that's three matches i've been recording for like an hour and five minutes i am ready to do some editing and get this sucker uploaded all right you guys have a nice day It's the end. Hey, check out these guys, okay? And then there's uh, one right there, one right there, and I'll see you guys later.